Hi there, and in my previous video, I made a video editing computer. It contained a fast Intel i7 2600K processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a NVIDIA 560 Ti graphics card, as well as a RAID array for my hard drives. Now what I wanted to do in this video is investigate how much of an effect graphics acceleration can have in programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro. Is it worth buying an expensive graphics card if all you're going to do is run programs such as Premiere Pro? So to begin this investigation, I opened Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5 and I also opened the task manager which would allow me to monitor the usage of the Intel CPU uh, during my investigation. So I started by creating a new project. Now at this stage you can actually choose whether you want to enable graphics card acceleration or not. I went for the software only option which means that the Intel CPU is going to handle everything and the graphics card to begin with will do nothing. I also wanted to show that the speed of Premiere Pro is highly dependent on the hard disk read and write speeds. Uh, in my previous video I actually outlined my RAID array setup which allows me to use uh, several hard disks all working in tandem uh, to get faster read and write speeds. I'll leave that link in my description bar uh, down below. Uh, so first of all I gave the project a file name and clicked OK. And then I chose the high definition video option of 1920 by 1080 which will allow me to really stress my system. So first of all I imported a number of clips of my baby's toys. I added the footage to the timeline using drag and drop. When I played this source footage back uh, without any effects I showed that uh, the CPU is not stressed at all. It could easily play uh, the video. So to stress my CPU, I started to add effects in the menu on the left hand side here. I specifically chose effects uh, which would be accelerated uh, by the graphics card if it was in use. Uh, here we can see that the uh, graphics card accelerated options are indicated by a little play symbol here. So I chose from that menu. I then started to modify my effects so that uh, the processor would have to work to maintain them in real time. When we play the video we see that the CPU is actually maxed out and the video can only play in real time due to the increase in RAM usage so it's really the RAM supporting the CPU. Now to turn on graphics card acceleration we go to the project menu I then select project settings uh, general I then turn on GPU acceleration Now what we can see is that the bar changes from a red colour to a yellow colour indicating that the computer can now play the clip in real time. But it only uses a fraction of the uh, CPU because the graphics card is actually performing the majority of the calculations. So what is my personal view of graphics card acceleration? I think the real speed of uh, Premiere Pro comes from uh, the RAM you use, if you have more RAM, it can it can very easily speed things up. Also, the, probably the most critical part is the RAID array setup. However, saying that, uh, we've seen from the investigation today that if you have, have a graphics card, it can make a difference. So first of all, go for the RAM, then go for the uh, hard disk array, and then if you can still afford it, get the best uh, NVIDIA graphics card you can. Uh, thank you very much for listening uh, and have a good day.